Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to do a little bit of play. I have got tons of different things pulled out here, as you can see, just all kinds of little pieces that I want to use up. That I've got them everywhere, so I need to use them. And I was looking around, I have, I have plenty of chipboard, because we get everything in boxes. I have some of this green paper, so I'm going to make some... They can either be little pockets, you can put them in your journalist pockets, or you can put them on the front of your journal. I don't really know what they're going to be called, but that's what we're going to make. So I have some green paper here, and I have just crunched it up. And I'm going to put a little bit of ink on there. You don't have to, that's not something you got to do, but I like mine with a little ink on it. So I'm just rubbing over, and it just mainly picks it up on the little humps and bumps. And then I have taken some just cardboard here. It's not chipboard, it's cardboard. And I'm going to pull the top layer off of this to expose the cardboard. And if this sound bothers you, then turn your volume down. I kind of like the sound. <laughs> I know I'm weird like that. But, I'm going to pull some of that off. And that exposes the corrugated part. So, I've already got one torn here. I think that's going to be the size I want there. Now, I'm, I want to ink. I want to put ink on this. But I didn't want to just keep dipping and dipping and dipping on my little ink pad there. And I've got just a torn up sponge. Because I don't want a new sponge on this. Because this will tear your sponge up. I just put some of my ink refill, the re-inker, on my sponge, and then I go directly to that just helps get your ink on there without you having to just keep dipping in your ink pad and using all that up. And two, if you use an old sponge, it doesn't, doesn't tear your new sponge up. So I'm put that there, that there, and then just need some extra little pieces here and there and I thought about sliding this butterfly in behind Th these butterflies I should say and now I know I probably this is something that I probably do on mine a little bit different than everybody else but nobody does these little cluster things the same way you can do yours any way that you want I'm gonna lay mine down first I like to lay them out and then See if that's kind of what I'm wanting, and if it is, then I go ahead and put my focal point on there. Okay, so what do you think next? Now, I got these little fragile doilies that I want to use up. I thought they were going to be a thicker doily, but they're so fragile, you can't even hardly take them out of the pack without them breaking and tearing. So, I want to use these up. So, see that one's broke already there so I'm just gonna take that outside piece off and then yeah I'm gonna put ink on it because I don't want it that bright white so I'm using my pad my non-stick craft mat I start to say my pad but I'm not using my pad and I'll put that down there And then we need a focal point on there. So what do we think? And you can keep adding layers if you want. I'm not going to go too big with it. But that would make a cute focal point, I think. The only thing I don't like about that one is she's got her head turned backwards. I don't want the head turned backwards. Let's look and see if we might have... Let's check out a butterfly. Maybe, maybe we can use some of these large butterflies up. I've got a ton of them. We could definitely use those up, couldn't we? Let's see if we can find one that's got a little more brown and a little less orange. Oh yeah, that goes better, I think, with the little butterflies behind. Now on these, I am not going to take my time and trim off all these little pieces. All I'm going to do is ink those little pieces up. Those little extra white pieces that are around. I'm just going to ink those up make them blend 
And you can ink these in any color you want, any color that might go with your particular journal that you're making. I might make some in different colors, who knows? I don't know. Now I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for all of this because it is going to be thick and I'm just going to put my Fabri-Tac right in the middle because I'm probably going to stitch around some of these. And yes, my sewing machine will stitch through this corrugated cardboard. It's not that thick and it usually smushes it down a little bit. So it will stitch through it. I just go kind of slow and it does fine. There we go. And then we'll put that on there. And this is probably not going to get a lot of glue. I'm just going to tap it here and there and then when I stitch it'll hold it down. There we go. And we'll put our butterfly right there. But I think I might want some labels or something in there. We've got, we've got these little labels that are from Tim Holtz and they're just called labels. They're just different sizes and colors and We've got quite a few of them, so I was going to see if I might use a few of these. Just some smaller ones, maybe. Let's see, that one's a good dark color. But see, I don't like that white, so I'm going to have to tone that down. So I'm just going to rub over it with my sponge. Yeah, we can tuck that one right there, and then, let's see. I don't even mind using some of these circular ones if I can get them out. Well, they don't want me to use them. It came out and it went right back in there. So what about if we put one of these here and just ink that up? Yeah, and I think I might put a number or something on this. I also had some cheesecloth and organza out here that I was going to use too, but I'll probably use that on the next ones. Since I kind of forgot on this when I got started and forgot about it. Okay. So there is that. All right, let me grab a number that I can put on there. Now, I got this little bag of goodies from one of you guys. And it's got all kinds of little numbers in it that the person cut out. And I'm assuming that this is like from a puzzle. But I thought, how ingenious is that? And let's just use some of them. Let's see. And some of them are even actually the numbers that they wrote in to the little puzzle here and something outside. Like I've got company. Oh, let me tell you guys. <laughs> Y'all like to hear all of our stories. And, and comment below if this has ever happened to you. Kind of scared me a little bit. But, um... We were sitting just last night watching TV, watching a movie, and all of a sudden, our, our back patio door is just right close to where I sit in my recliner. So all of a sudden, that door popped just like somebody had thrown a rock. <laughs> thrown a rock at me. So I looked at Quit, and he looked at me, and I said, what was that? And he said, I don't know exactly. So... I said, well, I'll just get up and look. So I got up, went to the door, didn't see anything. Well, about the time I turned around and started to come back to my chair, it popped again real loud. And then before I could get turned around, it popped the third time. I said, okay, this is not funny now. So we looked outside to see if we could see anybody, couldn't see anybody anywhere, didn't see any kind of animal, didn't see a bird. You know, sometimes a bird will fly into your window. Didn't see a bird, didn't see anything. So, truthfully, we have no clue what it was. But it was kind of spooky there for a little while. Alright, I'm going to put this on the butterfly because I'm not going to stitch right in the middle. I'm just going to kind of stitch around the edge. So, it's not going to interfere, I don't think. Now, I'll be really, really inky when I finish this. So, if my fingers are all inked up, then you know. There we go. So there's the first one. And if I wanted to put it on a journal cover, so let's just say this was my journal, which it's not, it's my ephemera journal. You could put it on the front of your journal like that. 
or if you wanted to put it on a page you could turn it that way and have it as a pocket or something like that or put it in your page and have it as a tuck so there's lots of different ways to use it and it's using up some of our larger ephemera that I can't find a place to use so I kind of like this idea all right I'm gonna lay that one aside those will go be ready for my sewing machine let's get another you know you can these that you tear off you can use those in the background too we'll probably use some of those in a minute right now I'm going to grab another piece of our green paper now I wanted to tell you guys this paper we have started dividing it you know I told you I bought a huge roll I'm talking huge I really didn't mean to but I did and so we have started dividing it up and we've got our other items divided up as well so we will be uh, putting those little starter what we're going to call them is starter kits because for anybody who doesn't have any kind of items to start your crafting with as far as journaling and things like that they will make fantastic starter kits because it's going to have some of my favorite paper in it that I use to back all of my uh, ephemera and tags and things like that. It'll have green paper, it'll have brown paper, uh, it'll have the brown envelopes, let's see what else, oh, brown uh, file folders, I don't remember what else, but it's full. I'll show you pictures of it later on when we get everything put together. So those will be going up, hopefully we'll ha be able to put those up tomorrow. Um, my little sweet hubby has been working on it for a while now. <laughs> he uh, he worked on it some today, and he got everything done except the green, all the green paper cut. And we're trying to cut in in like a yard or two yard bundles so that you can have you know plenty. But this green paper is wonderful. I love it. Love to use it in my journals. And the brown paper is. Um, great too it's a little bit thicker than this and you could use it even for pages so we'll have those up at least by the end of the week i know all right again i'm going to put a little couple of drops of my refill on my little dauber here and go over this and you could use different colors I thought I might use, on some of them, I might use my darker inks, but I was just starting out with this one to play around with. Then we could always come back and do a, a black or a dark, dark brown, like charcoal. No, charcoal's not dark brown. Charcoal, charcoal is black, but like a, a dark, darker color, I should say. All right, I think we'll put that there and what see I told you I get really inky when I do this but I don't care it doesn't bother me as long as you guys don't let it bother you um, these are some pieces that we actually got in one of the e-club kits so I thought we might use some of those I can use a piece of this I wonder if that's gonna be too much green there let's see and you know that I don't fuss too much about this kind of thing. This is, to me, this is using up extra pieces. So it's not like I'm going to be real particular in what I do uh, and what I put down. No, I think that's going to be a little bit too green for the green background. So we'll go with maybe one of these pages. This is just a little book that I got I think off of AliExpress or something. It's just got some different images in it. So, what do we think about this one being back here? Like that. Oh, yeah. I think I like that one. So, Miss Brooklyn got to ride the bus this weekend. I told you guys she was going to. Melina got some footage of her on it. She's so excited. She's just beside herself. So I'll probably insert that footage at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around and watch that footage because she is something else. She got her a new haircut and she didn't like it in the beginning. Her, her sister, her older sister is a 
I don't know what you call it. Anyway, she does cutting hair and she does facials and all kinds of stuff. So she cut her hair. Well, Brooklyn didn't like it because it was too short. So Brooklyn let her know about it too. Well, now, since everybody has said, oh, your hair is so pretty, it looks so good, now she's all excited about it. So, if you think about it, just say, oh, Brooklyn, and your hair looks so pretty. <laughs> she is fussy, fussy when it comes to, she's got her own mind when it comes to her clothes and her hair. All right, what did we think about that? And then maybe a focal point. We could even use one of the Tim Holtz photos. We have these in the store as well. They might be a little bit small, I don't know. These might be. Yeah, I'm thinking they might be a little small. Oh, that one might not be, that's cute. Hmm, let's put that one down. And I'm just going to ink up the edges. I'll leave that bottom and let it look like a little vintage photo. Which I guess it is a vintage photo. So what about if we put that there? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but it feels really good. It feels almost like material. This came in one of the e-club kits a couple of months ago too. I'm telling you, that Melina puts all kinds of goodies in the e-club kits. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. Let's start gluing. I'm going to kind of hold it up like this and start putting glue down. Because I'm afraid if I move it, I'll mess it up. And the puppy, Lila Rose, got to go on the trip with them too. So she was excited. She didn't know what in the world was going on though when they was packing her bed and all of her play toys and everything up. She was not happy there for a while until she figured out they was coming back for her. And then she was happy. I told Bethany, I said, next time you're going to have to take her first and then take her bed and everything. Because she was pouting. She is, she is sport rotten. Oh, yes. I like that. Okay. I'm going to take some of these little points off of this. Because I don't really like the points. And then I'll just ink up those little edges. I want it to look very, very old. So I don't want any points on it. They're old and worn and torn. Take a little chunk out there. Okay, I like that one. And when I stitch, I'll stitch right around like this. Maybe some some zigzaggy looking stitches and just messy stitching. And that'll be another, it'll either be a journal cover or something for the inside of the journal. So I'll lay that one over there. All right, let's go with some other type backing. Let's just use this. This is off of the cardboard. Those will be good strips for our pages, won't they? Put that over there. Let's see. And this end is torn too even for me. Okay. And I may even end up tearing it a little bit more. I don't know. I'll wait until I get my ink on and see what it looks like. See, it only takes a drop of that refill to give you lots of ink on here. And I'd rather do it this way as just use up all of my ink in my ink pad. I'm just going to put a little bit on it like that. Now you could spray these. You could coffee dye them do whatever. I didn't really have time to do a lot of spraying today, so or dipping. So I just decided to do my coloring this way. Okay, I think on this one I'll put some of that organza down. I guess this is organza. I don't know. It's like almost like a fishnet kind of stuff. Don't know what it is. 
we're going to put it down there anyway. And I need my little tool here. I think on this one we might use a piece of this. This again is just some pieces that I bought from China. Let's see, that's a little bit long. Maybe we'll put this one on this side this time. All right, then, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? That has even got some little gates and different things in it. I hmm, don't know about that. I may just use the uh, another doily. Save those little gates for something else. Yeah, let's just use another doily. Ink it up. And I'm, for these, all you have to do to ink them up is just tap that little ink pad on there. You get plenty of ink. And I'm just going to put some glue here and there. And then I'll just press my little doily into it. There we go. Then I have some of these. These are kind of shiny, but I think they'll be, they would be pretty. Too big. I've had these in my stash. I'm not sure where I got them, actually. I think they came out of a book, but I don't know what book. Okay, I don't really mind that on there, but I feel like I need something else behind it. It's too, it's, I don't know, it's out of proportion somehow. So let's go ahead with this one and put this down maybe. Yeah, I don't mind that. And I think I'll go ahead and tear this edge. Let's see, we don't want it even with the other one, so I need to tear it off a little bit. Save that piece. There we go. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. I may put some tickets or something else in it, in under, but I'm going to go with this as my main focal point. Tear that off because I don't like that little point sticking up there. And then, let's see. We could tuck this in. Let's see if we can tuck that in. Yeah, we can tuck that in there. And like I said, all I'm doing is just grabbing some odds and ends that I have had laying around in my stash that I need to get used up. You know, you can only, there's only so many little pieces of stuff you can have. Okay, we could do that one over here. Well, let's see. Is this a sticker? I don't think so. And do we need something else? Let's see. I'd like to have something right here. I don't know what. Got a little... No, it's not the right color. And I think these little pieces came out of this little pack, too, that we got in the e-club kit. That one works right there. I don't know. I don't think these are stickers so we're just going to put some glue behind it if they're stickers i'll know soon because they'll pull off but i don't think they are okay i don't think i want that little point there so we'll pull that point off yeah i like that one and then i can stitch around it and i'm telling you the stitching makes all the difference in the world um, it just, I don't know, it brings it out, brings your your little page out and everything. I may put that little piece down there. It's just a little extra piece I have laying here that I tore off of the other one. I may just stick it under at the bottom. This is just a place to use up those little pieces. But yeah, stitching makes a difference. And I'll show you in the photos some of them that have stitching with them. So there's that one. That one is more flat, so it would be even better on the inside of a journal. I like that. I do. I'm not sure. I don't think I want to put anything else on it, so I'm going to lay it aside. And let's see. What do we want to go with now? You want to make a smaller one, maybe? Let's do a smaller one, and let's just use a... Let's just use a piece of coffee dyed paper, maybe. You could also use a book page for the back if you wanted to do that. All kinds of things. You don't have to have 
the things that I do. You can use just a, a regular magazine page or a book page or anything like that. This is just some of the things I have in my stash that are laying here on my desk that I need to use up. And those will make good little strips. Put those right there. And let's tear this a little bit. It don't have to be straight, but not quite so crooked. I'm going to go ahead and crumple it. Yeah, and tear it a little bit. Take that corner off. That corner off. And where you, where you tear them, make sure that you ink back in that tear. And that just makes it look that much older. If you ink back in that little tear there. And then I'm just going to go across it a little bit. Not much because it's already got ink on there. I had the weirdest dream last night. Oh my goodness. It was crazy. Crazy craziness. I don't even want to talk about it. It was so crazy. But I hate when I have a night that I have crazy dreams. There we go. Put that one down. And let's see. I'm going to put these up because I don't want to use those on it. But we'll pull out some of these. I got lots more of these little paper doilies. Like I said, I thought they were a lot thicker, so I bought quite a few, and now I've got a ton of them. And they're just not quite thick enough. Okay, I'm going to tear this one. Not thick enough to do what I want to do with them, or what I wanted to do with them. So we'll use them like this. So let's see. Maybe we'll try putting that up there this time. Nope, it blends a little bit too much. So I'm going to put it right there. Then we'll put something on top of that. There's a page. It's like an invoice page we can use. Gonna crumple that up too. I just want it to look a lot older than what it is. I don't feel like it's too big, so I'm gonna take this bottom off and I can use that for something else. I don't want it covering everything up. I'll tell you this time, let's run it this way. And then we'll put our focal point on there and maybe tuck some different things in. So let's see if we want another butterfly or we could use a bird. Oh, that butterfly is beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't really have any blue in the background though, does it? Okay, so what about a bird? No, well, we got there. I went with the blue bird again. What about a bird that has a little bit of pink in it? Oh, his foot was stuck. Yeah, I don't mind that bird. So we will put that on there. Ooh, I'm getting ink everywhere. Okay, let's go ahead and glue some of this down. Oh, and lace. You can put lace on these. I have didn't even think about pulling out any lace, but you can also do the, put some lace on these. That'd be very pretty. Use some of your scrap lace so they can get it used up. Okay, let's put that birdie right in the middle. I think I'll tuck that little piece up there at the top. And then, let's see, what other pieces do I have here? Lots of little scraps, that's for sure. All right, let's go with some type of label. 
that maybe has some of the colors in the birdie. This is some little cut labels that someone gave me. Okay, I'll tuck that right there and it brings out that pink in the bird. And then let me grab another label or two. Oh, that's cute. That little pink one. A little round pink one that's scalloped. I'm going to tuck that in. Let's see. Does that need to go on that layer or that layer? Tuck that in right there. Okay, I think that will be that one. Don't, I don't think I'll put anything else there. If I do, I'll wait until I put it in the journal or on the journal, and then I might put something else there. But that will be that one. All right, I think we'll do one more. And on this one, I'm going to use a piece of vintage book page. This is from a very old book, and it's actually got kind of a shiny surface. But I think doing something like this with it will work well. It can be the background. And again, I'm going to crumple it up. And let's see, that way is upright. So nice, I like that. Okay, do we want to put a piece of just brown paper on it, or do we want to put that corrugated paper on it? I think we'll just go with a piece of brown paper and just tear it. This is just the paper off the top of that corrugation. So this is the layer they glue to the top. There we go. <laughs> I just slung some drops on there. All right. Do we want another dolly? Do we want something else? What do we want? So let's put a piece of this. And this may be tool. I don't know what this is. It may be some tool. I, I got it in a little bundle of stuff from somebody. Don't have a clue what it actually is. I just know it's really stretchy. So I can kind of stretch it and make it look a little bit out of sorts. So, all right, let's glue that down under there. I know it wants to stick to my tool. Doesn't like just sticking down by itself, that's for sure. Okay, turn it like that and we've got a little bit of that sticking out all around. That's what we want. Let's put that on there like that and I'm just going to tear off a few corners and pull some little pieces out just to make it look a little bit older because this is like a piece of newspaper. So don't want it to look so new. This one we may grab a piece of lace and put on there. Yeah, that'll work right there. I got this little scrap laying on my desk, so we're going to use it. Try to use as many of these little tiny scraps here as I can. Just get some used up. That. Okay. Then we have this little scrap piece. Alright, I think I'm going to use another butterfly. I'm just wanting to use some of these butterflies up. I have got so many that you guys have sent me, and I love them, but I've got more than I will use in a long, long time. <laughs> so I want to use some of them on things like this. So they're really too big to just lay down in your journal, but they're so pretty. There's no way I can just not use them. But I have to find the right color. Okay, I think the purple has one on this one, and I'm not even a purple fan. But it just seems to look a little bit better than some of the other ones. And it's really shiny, so I'm going to try to put a little bit of ink on those wings. But I don't know if it's going to... It may not hold it completely, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to grab a piece of lace and put under there. Just put a little piece of this down there. Yeah. That won't cover up. It'll cover stuff up, but my newspaper and everything will still show through. So that will be fine. And I think I'll actually run it that way. And we'll go ahead and stick our butterfly just in the middle. Like that. And then we can tuck in little things here and there. And I'm going to turn that piece around. Take these corners off. Okay, I think I'm going to grab a few of these little labels that I've got 
in this little container. Believe me, I've got labels running out my ears. But I never see a label that I don't want, so right, I'm going to tuck that in right there. Leave it hanging over that background a little bit. Then let's see, we got a little dark flag that we might be able to use. So, let's see, oh, it's this way. I wanted to use it on the other side, but. We may have to use it over here. Now let's put it right there. Okay, let's use this right there. And these are all labels that we had in the shop for selling those little tins. We are completely out of those. Uh, the vendor is even out, but we're, we've got an order in as soon as they come back in stock. And these are stickers, I know they are. Now this one looks a little bit more ragged, but you know what? We can use this in like one of our junk journals or um, just to, well, I, as a matter of fact, I have a journal coming up that I've got to do this week in a challenge. And it is completely made from junk or scraps. So make sure that you watch that one because I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> and I can probably use this one in it. It's basically scraps and just odd pieces, but this would go really well in a little junk journal. Or, you know, I wouldn't mind putting that in my journal and just having it a little pocket. But that is how you can make one out of a book page. And you can see, I've not even tipped the iceberg of all of my little pieces that I've got, so I could keep going and going and going and making these. But, I know you guys have got lots of other things that you want to do other than watch me make these. So, let's, I'll just lay them out here. I, we've made five. That's pretty good. And I, I don't know which one is my favorite. I think I like the one with the bird, but I also like these. I, I don't know. I like all of them. But that is just another thing that you can do with some of your little scraps. And if you don't have little label scraps and things like I do, just take your stamps and, and tear little pieces of paper and stamp them and make your little labels. You can make labels. You don't have to have printed labels like I've got. You can make tons of little labels. But, you know, pieces like this are fantastic to use on this. I mean, that, that right there, that is great. Let's see. See, that would even look good just tucked up under there. And it may end up there. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to stay and, to, and watch the little video at the end. You'll see Miss Brooklyn on the bus, as she is so excited about. And then I'll also have pictures of these at the end where I have stitched them. We will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We've got something really, really big coming up when we reach 100,000. Now, we're a little bit a ways away from that, but it's never too early to go ahead and get your name in the hat. You have to be a subscriber, so make sure that you subscribe, and we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. All right, here we are in our new RV or new to us RV and here are the girls Hello. there is Brooklyn Brooklyn what do you think of the pilot family RV I love. <laughs> <laughs> are y'all excited oh yeah yes very yes. really good I like it so our maiden voyage in the RV we're very excited aren't we very very, very excited very, very. <laughs>